Hey guys, another day in paradise. We land touchdown team. Here's what's going on today. I was invited. Okay, first of all, this one goes out to all the girls, okay? This one goes out to the Joe girls, the Nick girls, and the Kevin girls. Because today, I got an email inviting me to an event for the Jonas Brothers new album premiere. Um, quick question. Why, how, did you email the right person? And I got a plus one. So guess what? Me and Christelle were flying to Vegas. I don't even know how to describe what it is. It's like a 360 flyover experience. Sounds like the Soarin' ride at Disney. I think they're gonna like strap us or something and I'm gonna go, ooh, and then like year 3000 is gonna be playing. I don't know. And so we're going to that. Oh, the texture of this is so gross. So we're going to that today. Christelle and I are gonna get a lunch before we go. So it's like at LAX. Ew. What? It's at LAX. I think Frankie's gonna be there. I hope Frankie's gonna be there because me and Frankie have met once. But he's so funny. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Strap in, put your J-Bro t-shirts on. I look at this. I'm too lazy to get up right now, but look at this. This is my vintage original Joe Jonas pillowcase from 2008. Customized, my mom made it for me. So I, I have not seen them live since. The last time I saw the Jonas Brothers, I'm lying. I went to a uh, Global Citizen Fest. <laughs> I was there with Stanley. The Jonas Brothers were there and it was incredible, okay? They did burn it up and I was in the crowd. The only one who had a semblance of energy, jumping up and down, screaming, piss running down my leg. And they just look so good. Like I know they're all married and have like 13 children, but God, God, to be a Jonas Brother, you know? So now that I'm SPF'd, let's do the makeup and we'll report back. Okay, here is the tentative fit for you guys. Let's put you a little lower. Got these from Good American, because Khloe Kardashian is for the big girls sometimes. Um, hey. I'm thinking these, like I have to, right? Like they're comfy, they're stretchy, like maternity, big girl. We're gonna do these with either, hear me out. Because when I go to concerts, I sweat, especially if we're gonna be drinking. Bitch, I'm gonna be dripping sweat the entire night. Me and Crystal are about to be dripping with sweat. I'm gonna take my shirt off, I don't know. <laughs> or Lady Diana. These are actually what they won't tell you, two pinnacles of white culture. <laughs> okay, and then for the top, cause it is like 50 degrees, I'm gonna go for like this leather jacket. Or not leather jacket, can I talk? That's gonna be kind of cutesy. Of course the tried and true cabin boots. Let me tell you something about these boots. These are by Black Star. These are the most comfortable cowboy boots I have ever owned in my entire life. I have so many pairs of boots and I don't wear half of them because they're, I cannot walk in them for more than like two hours. And I have these two. These are Black Star. Black Star, if you want to sponsor me, go right ahead. Who's texting me? We might actually have to do the Rascal Flat shirt because it has some red in it with these red boots. My spirit guide is telling me red boots and I'm sorry, that's just how it is. Anyway, let's get the fit on and then I'll come back later and stick in a game bag. outfit reveal. With the red boots. Comfy. I'm a rock star. I'm not the rock star girlfriend. I am the rock star. I can breathe and there are removable layers if I start to sweat like a grown man. Okay, Christelle and I are about to go get sushi. And then we're going to the airport. All right, y'all. We'll see y'all when we get there. <laughs> so we just had um sushi on our way to LAX because it's they were like private security girl to Delta flight. They're, they're literally gonna look in our bag, see if we have a pistol, and then let us on the plane. I feel like we're going on a, like a school field trip. <laughs> <laughs> it's like vacation Everyone Bible get school. On the bus. <laughs>
Vegas. I have to be so totally for real. It just hit me. No, we're in Vegas. I'm about to start crying. <laughs> I love <George> <laughs> No, looking. Joe pulled me up by my bootstraps out of puberty. Right. He got me through that. What do I say to Kevin? How do I say thank you. Just thank you. You say thank you, Kevin. You Everyone you. on three, thank you, Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 Alright, I'm out of here. <laughs> she knew you were here, so you turned the plane around. Damn! Welcome, glad you guys are here. <laughs> but honestly, this album, we worked really hard on it for the last four years. Working with John Bellion, you'll hear all about it. <laughs> So you went in for the bid. I went in for the bid. I wrote this bid a week ago. Yeah. And then basically what happened is I told Nick the idea and he... Sometimes oh, it smells like um don't, don't, don't. Hey guys, we're a little tipsy oh, and drinky. We drink you and we we met all of the Johnny Brothers! Johnny Brothers! I need Joe Jonas so bad. I can't go home. How can I leave? How can we leave? They shouldn't be able to disclose legally that they're married. No, the fact that all three of them are dead! For legal reasons, I, I don't want to be at the show if they're married. <laughs> Who are you kind of gravitating towards after that? I have always been a Joe girl. I am a Joe girl. I know okay, that about you. grew up a Nick girl. And then he had that disease. And then I, when he released that he had diabetes, I was rid of it off myself. <laughs> And tonight, oh. Kevin kind of got caught my eye. Listen, Kevin turned around, I saw his back, and I said, I guess. He caught my eye. So, can we get a picture with you? And then he- Here's the hat, here are Women do Vegas. Um, yeah, that's gonna do it for me, team. I don't. Uh, I mean, like, I mean, like, okay, when something like this happens, right? It's all <laughs> we gotta go talk to you. Right there. We gotta go. Be cool, be cool, be cool. And then you go to the concert and then like, like my f***ing throat hurts. I was screaming so loud. Like that was something my inner child, I didn't even know I needed that. Like I have been a fan of the Jonas Brothers for, that was the first concert I ever went to, dude. It was Jonas Brothers and the Wonder Girls, the Wonder Girls, the K-pop group opened up for Jonas Brothers in 2009 when I saw them for the first time. Dude, I have been a Joe Jonas girl for longer than I've been an adult. And that's just the truth. And yeah, a bunch of people thought I was wearing a Jonas Brothers t-shirt. That's gonna be Rascal Flats, by the way. That is gonna be Rascal Flats. I appreciate the concern. What, how do you just like go on? This shit has got to stop. Harry, Maddie, like who other, 
Who else do I love? Oh, Alex Turner from the Arctic Monkeys. Keep him away from me. Keep it. You know, you know what Big Mom is going to do. <laughs> Keep him away from me. I don't need that. Okay. I love the Jonas Brothers. I love them so much. This was incredible. I just don't even really have words. Stay tuned is really all that I know to say. And I was picking at this thing on my chin. It's a goiter. It has gone from mosquito bite to pimple to goiter real quick. Thank you guys so much. I don't even know what to really say, to be completely honest with you. So, thank you. Check it out.